podcast hosts who bring on guests sometimes are resistant to having a script or any kind of list of questions. And I just want to speak to that for a minute. While I totally understand what you're saying, no one wants to hear a scripted conversation with somebody. I don't like it when hosts sound scripted, and I don't like it when guests sound scripted. However, as a host, you have a couple different jobs that are extremely important. Number one is you are acting on behalf of your audience. So when you have a show, you're making a promise to that audience. For example, with Next Step Nation, we promise that if you listen to our show, if you're a podcaster, you're going to find insights and ways to either start your own show, improve the show that you have, monetize it, but you are going to grow. You're going to be, you're going to get insights. You're going to be entertained and um, you're also going to be inspired. So that's our promise. If I have guests on my show who are rock stars, when I have guests on my show who are rock stars, if I don't have some core questions that I know will ensure delivery on that promise, then I could end up talking about anything. I mean, there are a lot of people that I can talk to. I'd probably, the show would probably end up being all about automation and systems. However, nobody wants to hear about that. And quite honestly, that's not what I want to talk about. I want to keep the main thing the main thing. I want to make sure that in the time that I'm granted, gifted by my, by my guest, we deliver on our promise for the audience. So your first role is to protect the audience. You are acting on their behalf. You have a responsibility to deliver on that promise. The second part of it is that you have a responsibility to your guest. I talk a lot about being an angel host so that you can have hero guests. And I mean that with all of my heart. When I have a guest on my show, I'm constantly thinking, what does the audience want to know? What's the obvious question that I need to ask? But on the other hand, I'm also thinking, this is an amazing person. How can I ask a question to inspire them to answer in a way that I never even expected. That is difficult to do. You need to think about ahead of time. Now, I do have a, a, I call it a script, but it really is a list of questions. I've got about three or four questions that are absolutely core and crucial to be able to deliver on the promise that I make to my listeners. I also have, I mean, all the questions honestly have a purpose. I've got the first couple of questions just to help connect with the guest. I want myself to connect with them and I want them to feel comfortable. I want them to talk about themselves a little bit. And so those questions, I need to make sure that I include in there. The next, and then somewhere in there are my core questions. And then at the end is the wrap. Um, as a good teacher, I, you know, I know that my best teachers that I've ever had, they, always start with what to expect and then they go into the meat of it, you know, and they, you know, there are different ways to formulate how you go through that whole storyline. But then at the end, you want to remind the listeners that they just heard what you promised to deliver. If I don't have a script, I won't do that. I will forget because having a conversation with guests is so enjoyable that I literally could just end up talking about what tools they use, uh, what kind of spreadsheets they use, how they use them, um, you know, what they like to eat. And I know, you know, you're a pro, you're not going to just focus on the silly things. You will go through the things that you want to cover, but having a script and understanding those four core things that you're, that will deliver on your promise to your audience will, will be crucial. You're also being a good, you're being an angel host for your hero guest by having some kind of structure or format to help you be a better host for your guest so that they're able to share beyond what your own knowledge is. We go into these questions and we're, we're curious, we're wanting to know what our guest has, has to share with us. But while we're on that train of thought, having those list of questions to make sure we're on track will spur a whole new conversation you never would have had. So instead of having one kind of train of thought, um, you can have multiples, but they still all have a common thread. So you're taking care of everybody. So 
make your, make your script. Don't just read it off. Make sure that you are asking, you know, clarifying questions. Uh, we use a system called flex, flex your curiosity. Number one is find, find what it is that you want to know about your guest. Be prepared with that before you start. Listen so that as you do a ask those questions that are core to this uh, educational moment for your audience, um, listen to what they're saying so that you can do E, which is engage. You can ask those questions, um, ask another question having to relate to it. But then X is expand. Once you're, once you listen and you hear and you've engaged and you feel like you understand what they're saying, then expand on that. Like, what does that have to do with the next thing? And hopefully by understanding flex, you can understand that having a script doesn't mean that you're sticking to it. You just are ensuring that your audience is going to get what you've promised them. Happy podcasting.